To use MIDI fretboard to control music software in Windows, download, install, and launch RTP MIDI. On a Mac, launch audio MIDI setup. Both programs look about the same. First, create a session if none exists by clicking the plus sign. Then, enable the session by checking here or here. The IP address and port number will be shown right here. To use MIDI fretboard to control your iOS devices, enter setup. Click on Wi-Fi. Next to your network name, tap on the blue arrow. Your IP address will be shown right here. Enter the IP address and port number into MIDI fretboard's MIDI setup page. Then tap Save Connections, and that's it. Now you can control all the great music apps on your iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch, like Thumb Jam, Sunriser Synth, Sample Wiz, Analog Synth, Music Studio, Symphony Pro, Anamoog, FL Studio, GarageBand, and many, many more. You can also control all the great music software on your Windows and Mac machine, like GarageBand, Reason, Cubase, Contact, Core, FL Studio, Logic, Ableton Live, and many, many more. MIDI Fretboard, version 2.0, an app for the iPhone and iPod Touch, developed by W Code. It's basically a MIDI guitar, bass guitar, ukulele, banjo, shamisen, and a bunch of other fretboard instruments. So in 2.0, it supports core MIDI, which means you can control not only apps on your computer, but also apps on your iPad, and iPhone, and iPod Touch. You can play the built-in sounds. There are 14 of them. Or you can mute the built-in sounds by going into settings. And then turn on another app on the same device, like Thumb Jam. I'm using the harp sound, and I can control that with MIDI fretboard. Okay, and now let's turn off Thumb Jam. And this time, we're going to control an app on the iPad. All you have to do is go into settings, MIDI settings, and enter the IP address of your iPad or your iPhone into here and tap save connections and that's it this is analog uh, synth very popular app so I'm gonna control it as you watch me play you're gonna see the keys on this iPad being pressed down you see that right there and as I bend the pitch you can see the pitch wheel also being turned. You can set how much you want to pitch bend inside this app. So you can control any app on the iPad that supports uh, MIDI signals. And now we're gonna control my MacBook Air. And this is GarageBand. I can control both at the same time. It's pretty fast, you can't really notice any delays. If you use a LAN cable with your MacBook Air, it will improve performance even more. But using Wi-Fi, it works pretty well. So now I'm going to change to tap-on mode. Next, I'm going to close these two programs and I'm going to make a guitar tablature. On the iPad, we have Symphony Pro. On the Mac, we have Guitar Pro 6 running. Create a new project and then click on Sound and 
MIDI capture and click on start recording right here in uh, Symphony Pro on the iPad tap on settings settings and turn on MIDI input okay now tap on the piano icon and the edit icon and as I play you're gonna see notes uh, showing up on both of these devices The Guitar Pro 6 doesn't support real-time capturing, but Symphony Pro does. Tap on the record button, and when you're ready, tap on start. And play everything. real-time capturing. So that's what this app is for. Playing music anywhere using the built-in sounds, controlling thumb jam and other software on the same device without internet connection, and then using the internet control the iPad and the Mac or even the Windows machine. Now I'm going to talk about all the features of MIDI fretboard version 2.0. There is a strum mode and a tap on mode. This is the strum mode. You can see the sound holes right here. To pluck, you have to tap and release. To strum, swipe off a string. To traverse the guitar neck, just swipe here and the mini fretboard will pop up. Go to any fret you want, let go, and now we're at fret 12. You can bar a fret by sliding to the fret and then drag your finger up like this. And now we've barred fret 12, so this is fret 13. Same as doing this on a real guitar. And now you can do bar chords like you're doing open chords. So this is an open A minor chord. Okay. Next, you can do hammer-ons and pull-offs as long as you do them within a time limit that you set in the settings page. If you're too slow, it's not going to work. Okay. Next, you can pitch bend by tilting up like this. Ninety degrees means a full bend. Usually, that's two uh, semi notes up. 62.5 degrees, it's half bend. That's one note up. And 45 and below, no bend. And to control the volume, you can tilt left and right. So when the phone is facing up, very soft. And as you face it forward, it gets louder and louder. So you can do something like this. Next, for people with really big hands, it's kind of hard to play the A major chord because you have to cram three fingers onto one fret. Okay, this app is pretty spacious, you can do it. But if you have really big fingers, what you can do is tap the first note, slide your finger over a little bit it'll still hold the note for you as long as you don't slide too far away like this so just like this 
like this, then like that. Okay? Likewise, like this, like that. Or like this. Okay? Another feature for uh, people with big hands is that you can double tap on the note to bar all the strings below your finger. Just double tap. That's a partial barring. You can bar the whole thing or bar only half of it. And now you can do the A major chord easily. Tap and release the last note. Okay. Same, you can do a F major chord. Double tap. And then there you go. And the hardest one to do on most guitar apps is the B major uh, bar chord. But here, double tap here, double tap here, let go this one, and there you go. And now let's go check out the other mode. So here it says uh, hammer on and pull off time limit is set to 0.25 seconds. Now drag all the way to the right, and now it's going to say tap on mode. Now there's no more sound hole. Just tap and play. You can tap or you can slide. Left and right, even up and down. You can even play two notes on the same string. Three notes. This is the tap mode. You still have your mini fretboard here that you can use. Okay, so let's go back to strum mode. And instead of using the fretboard, you can use shortcuts to change positions. So now we have nine shortcut keys here. Just tap on one to jump to that fret, fret number five, and then drag up to bar it and hold down for half a second to configure and change the shortcut up to the 21st fret. Now let's look at the setup menu. Okay, from the top you can choose to mute or play the built-in sounds. Okay, so let's unmute. There are 14 built-in sounds. Acoustic guitar, banjo, Chinese guzheng, Chinese pipa, classical guitar, dulcimer, distorted guitar, grand piano, Japanese koto, Japanese shamisen, oud lute, sitar, slap bass, and ukulele. And you can uh, ring out the built-in sound by tapping here yes or no. Ring out means even if you let go your finger, the note will continue. And here is where you choose a tuning. There are over 100 tuning presets, so easily you can tap on one category to jump quickly to that section bass, guitar, and this is bass to be used with Guitar Pro 6, ukulele, banjo, sitar, Arabic oud, Turkish oud, and other tunings like the shamisen and the sanshin. And here is where you can turn pitch bend on and off. And this is where you can set the key velocity to be controlled by the, the x-axis or tilting left to right, or you can set this uh, velocity to be a fixed value like a hundred and here is where you set your modulation level from 0 to 127 here you can set uh, whether it's a right-handed guitar or a left-handed guitar and you can apply a capo to fret 12 right here is the note off timer this is for strum mode and what this does is it times out your notes for you so right now you can choose a whether you want to time out open notes only or you can time out all notes or turn off the timer so uh, usually you just want to time out the open notes and you set uh, how long you want the note to be uh, by setting the the tempo BPM and also what kind of note you want to use so this is a, a half note and uh, no dot we can select single dot or double dot and the combination of these settings will give you a timer of two seconds. So after two seconds, all your notes 
will be turned off. So let's check it out. And let's go back to fade out and now just only turn off open notes. All the open notes turned off except for the two notes I'm holding down. These two I'm going to manually turn off by lifting my fingers. So the note off timer is a very, very useful tool. And here is where you switch between a mini fretboard and shortcut keys. And down here you have the online guide, the offline guide, uh, a way to email your friends about this app and tell them that uh, it's a great app. And this is where you Facebook about this app. And finally, this one will give you a link to rate the app. And please do rate it. And that will help me uh, improve the app more and more. You can also check out my other apps from right here. And that's it. This is, again, MIDI fretboard version 2.0 for the iPhone and iPod Touch developed by WCODE.